Okay, so you can now juggle the three ball cascade. I'm about to teach you one of the easiest tricks in juggling, which is an over the top throw. And once you can do that, it leads into a bunch of other tricks like half shower, jugglers tennis, and even reverse cascade. So let's get right into how to do this. And by the way, in case you don't already know me, my name is Fly Juggler Bennett Santor. I've been juggling for over a decade. I'm an international juggling champion. I've juggled nine balls, and now I get to teach juggling to hundreds of thousands of people like you guys through my social media presence. Anyways, back to the video. And if you feel ready to start doing tricks with three, I really recommend you get an actual set of juggling balls. I offer some at flyjuggling.com. These are the ones I use. I'll leave them in the description, but any set of juggling balls will work. But for now, I'm gonna be using these different colored balls so you can see everything that's going on so the way that the outside throw works in juggling is kind of different than what you learned when you initially learned to juggle initially you probably learned to scoop your arm into the center like this but for an outside throw we actually want to do the complete reverse so instead of throwing it from the center we throw it from the outside like that so the first drill will be taking two balls and instead of doing throw throw catch catch which is probably what you're used to and bringing each ball to the center as you throw it you're gonna do the first one to the center, but the second one to the outside. So it'll look like this, inside, outside. So you're throwing that second ball on the outside of the other ball that you just threw. So inside, outside, inside, outside. Okay, so once that's comfortable, you're gonna start with three. And I want you to practice the same thing. So you can start with two in either your dominant or non-dominant hand. And I want you to start the same where you have two in one of your hands and you do the exact same thing you just did. So inside throw, outside throw, but then go right into the cascade from there. So I'll stop again, inside throw, outside, and then start the cascade. So that gives you a feel of doing the outside throw and then going right into the cascade after that. But once that feels comfortable, then I want you to try to do one from within the cascade. So while you're juggling three, you're gonna throw one a little higher than usual so you can set up the outside throw. And then right when you do that higher than usual throw, then you throw one to the outside and then go right back into the three ball juggling pattern. And try to get more consistent with this on your left and right side. So I'll go cascade, I'll throw one, one high and go around and then back. And then I'll try doing it with the other side. So boom, boom. Okay, so now you're getting more and more consistent. You should be able to do it once every, you know, five or six throws. And once you're here, you're ready to learn the first trick in this sequence, which is called juggler's tennis. And so all this is, is you're basically throwing every third throw as an outside throw. And since you have three balls, that means it'll always be the same ball that's going on the outside. So for example, I'll do it with the pink ball. So it's outside, inside, inside, outside, inside, inside, outside, inside, inside. And you keep repeating that pattern and you'll notice the pink ball always goes over the top of the blue and the yellow ball. And that's because it's every third ball, which is always gonna be the pink one. And you can kind of see why this is called juggler's tennis. It's because it has the shape sort of like it's, you're playing tennis almost because the ball keeps going back and forth over the other two. Then the next one after that is instead of doing every third throw, you do every second throw. So that means every single throw will come from your right hand or all of them will come from your left hand. And that pattern is called half shower. So it'll look something like this. Outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside. And see how every single throw coming from my right hand is over and every single hand coming from my left hand is under. And so it creates this sort of shower look where it's going in a circle kind of and that's why this one's called half shower so you could do it from your right side or once you get comfortable you can also do this one from your left side and the last one in this sequence is instead of doing every third throw as an outside throw or every second throw as an outside throw you do every single throw as an outside throw and this is just called reverse cascade so it'll go outside 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 and every single throw that you're doing is just an outside throw And so the reason this is called reverse cascade is because it's literally the reverse of cascade. So this is what reverse cascade looks like if I literally play it in reverse. It looks like a normal cascade. And if you do a normal cascade in reverse, it'll look like reverse cascade. And so that's why this is called reverse cascade. So with these outside throws, there's one more bonus pattern that I like to call rainbow. It looks just like this. 
And if you want a full tutorial of that trick, I have a complete breakdown of it in my online school community, which I'll put in the description. You unlock that the second you sign up. It also has a lot more personalized help on there and it's a great community, so I recommend that. But if not, congratulations, you just learned the easiest trick in juggling. And if you wanna learn more, I have a lot coming out soon. So subscribe and look out for that. Thanks so much for watching and peace. I signed a deal and I got the bread on me. Only fans.